please make a pound. A quid, one sterling, one pound, or one sterling pound, all deliver the same thing. One pound. The sterling pound, the oldest living currency, is over 1,200 years old. Besides its age, it's one of the strongest and fourth most popular trading currencies. The sterling pound, it's been widely used all around the world. Many different versions appeared in British possessions and colonies, and it's still being used in over 10 countries and territories. In 2021, an average monthly salary in the United Kingdom was just over £2,000. This sum can be paid with 40 £50 banknotes and would be just enough for a small household to live in the UK. But when the pound first came into use, the same amount of money could buy you more than 30,000 cows. And to pay that sum, you needed to find £2,000 in weight of silver. Let's go back and see how it all started. Once upon a time, in the 8th century, there was an Anglo-Saxon king called Offa of Mercia. He wanted to extend his ruling and trading power, and he was aware that he needed to foster strong relations with the continent and beyond. To do so, he established ties with Charlemagne, King of Franks, and later the founder of the Holy Roman Empire, which was an early form of the European Union. Offa married his daughter with Charlemagne's son, but that tie wasn't enough for him. He realized the economical power of Charlemagne's coin, a livre, and decided to make his own. A livre, which was a vast amount of money back then, is originally equal to a pound in weight of silver. Offa used the same system. He divided a pound of silver into 240 pieces, which he called pennies. 12 of these pennies made a shilling, and 20 shillings made a pound. Confusing. On Monday, February the 15th, Britain gets three new coins. This was the system used in the United Kingdom from King Offa's time right up until the 15th of February 1971, the National Decimal Day. Offa used many different designs for his coins, and his wife, Sinithrith, was the only Anglo Saxon queen ever portrayed on a coin. It seems Offa became a bit careless in his money copying skills, as he once used a copied design from the Arabic dinar on one of his gold coins as a gift to Pope Adrian I. The only problem with the design was the Arabic wording on it, which translated to, there is no God but Allah, the one, without equal, and Muhammad his messenger. Luckily, the Pope wasn't fluent in Arabic.